Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible. As we read from the King James Version Bible, we read from the New Testament, Philippians chapter 4. As we read here, it says, Peace with the brethren, Philippians chapter 4. Therefore, my beloved and longed for brethren, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. I implore you, dear, and I implore Cynthia, Synthekai, to be of the same mind in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Peace with the Lord. Verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious of nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let us request that your requests be made known to God. Very important point. Be anxious for nothing, verse 6, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whoever things are true, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, and whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do and the Lord God of peace will be with you. Peace in all circumstances was then, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last your care for me has flourished again, though you surely did care, but you lacked nothing. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Very important word, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Verse 13, verse 14, nevertheless, you have done well that you have shared in my distress. Verse 15. Now, you Philippians, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. For even in Thessalonica, you sent it once and again for my necessities. Verse 17, Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. Verse 18, Indeed, I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, a sweet smelling aroma, and acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. 
verse 19. And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. A very important verse over here, verse 19. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And conclusion, verse 20. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Verse 21. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren who are with me greet you. Verse 22. All the saints greet you, but especially those who are of Caesar's household. Verse 23. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. May God bless the reading that we have read just now from Philippians chapter 4. And as all the answers to the questions are here, as my God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Yeshu Masiha. Yes, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we will have all the blessings as our mighty God will provide all our needs as the words are true. So, my dear brother, my dear sister, be encouraged for Jesus Christ is our salvation as we read in Revelation 7 verse 10 and Revelation verse 17, 7, 17 says he will wipe away our every tear and he will lead us to the living waters and he will be our shepherd. A mighty God we serve for he is the way, the truth and the life. John 14 verse 6. So be encouraged and do not quit in life, my dear brother, my dear sister, my dear children. Yes, for we are here in this world. God has a plan. God has a purpose. For even before we were formed in the womb, he knew us. Even before he formed us in the womb, he knew us. As we read in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. And he is the omnipotent God who reigns. As we read in Revelation, yes, chapter 19, verse 6. So be blessed today and every day. Our mighty God will provide all our needs. As we read just now from Philippians 4, 19 and Genesis 22, verse 14. He is our Yahweh, Ire. Yes, he is our God will provide. Yes, and he is our Emmanuel, God with us. He is our Ebenezer. Yes, God will help us. Yes, so be victorious today in life. Be blessed today. Do like and subscribe the channel, Arise and Shine, Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. As God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I am here in a service. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes, beloved. So for all your prayer requests, in the description, there is the email which has been given. Do send your request. We will pray for you and also for the tithes, offerings and thanksgiving which you wish to give for the mission for the blind. You can send it on the link given in the description. God bless you. As we read in Numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.